I take a moment here to go over some of the uh, items that you wore underneath your uniform for the United States Army during World War II. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and point in this particular case. So if we come up here to your left, you'll notice three pairs look like pants. Actually, they are underpants. Think of it as drawers, um, made of flannel, cotton, as well as wool. Uh, the one on the left is the first example from 1936. As you can see, it's white. Button front. However, in the back, it had a piece of thread where you could adjust the size of the waist. This particular pair of uh, drawers was made in September 1942. We also know these as long johns. You can see later that they decided to go ahead and simplify the design. The pair over here is basically the same as this one. The difference is that it's olive green. You can see in the back, once again, has a thread there where you can adjust the size of the waist. This particular pair was made in September 1943. Once again, this is all original. Now you can see where they've simplified the design to the front. They went to a simple placket, three buttons, but this one's messing the thread, it's still adjustable in the waist. Unfortunately, the uh, date and year it was manufactured is worn out because it appears that they were actually worn and used. The other item we have over here are wool gloves. You notice it's basically a mitten in that you had a piece for your thumb and your finger and your other three fingers. Why was that? This is what you needed to fire your rifle. That's why you had it. all made of wool. This particular pair has never been worn or issued. It still has the staple from the manufacturer. These were designed to be used with these. So it was a soft leather cover here. You can see there were a series of straps where you could adjust it among your waist. Notice the length of it. It would have went, let me lay my hand down. As you can see, it would have went almost up to my forearm here. So obviously, it would have been quite warm, but still would have allowed you to operate your weapon. Next item here would be Long John top as we know it today. Once again, it's made of cotton with wool. Unfortunately, the date manufacturer is worn out. Now, it would have had a corresponding top similar to the white one over here. And once again, as the war progressed, it went to an olive drab green. These are probably two of the most important things for an infantryman. That being your socks. Keeping your feet dry, as well as keeping your nails trimmed, obviously, were quite significant and very important as an infantryman because you walked essentially everywhere. We have two different pairs here. Once again, these are original World War II U.S. Army socks. Unfortunately, um, the date manufacturers are worn out of the cuff here. This particular pair would have been worn with your dress uniform. If you can remember the uniform, that had the four pockets to it. These are actually style and type of socks that you would have worn in combat. I have read numerous accounts where guys between August of 44 and March of 45, they would do everything they could to find every pair of socks they could. And what they would do was with a pair that they had, they would fold it put it against their chest to dry it out to make sure that they always had a pair of dry socks. This, I think, goes without saying what they are. 
It's a pair of briefs. If you don't know what briefs are, we also call them underwear. Once again, similar to the long johns, they have a series of ties where you could adjust the waist. And there's three buttons at the top to attach it. Now, nothing personal. It's very, very difficult to try to find a pair of U.S. Army underwear that was made 75 years ago. All right? No rips, no tears, and more importantly, no stains. Just as good as it was when it was made 75 years ago. Last thing I'm going to go over is a sweater. the standard sweater that was used by the United States Army during World War II. It's all made of wool. As you can see, series of buttons to button it up. Shawl collar. And if you can look here at the ends, the cuff pieces to go down your sleeve. As a side note, the best of my knowledge, there's a variation of the sweater that's still being used by the United States Army today. The only difference is instead of being old wool, it's now a polyester wool it's a combination. Also as a side note, the design of this sweater was so popular that if you take the time, and this is not a plug and I do not own any stock in this company, if you go to Land's End's website and if you look up men's sweaters, you will find, and I trust me, I have a couple of them, that are virtually identical to this World War II sweater. One item I almost forgot about is belt. I know I showed it in a pair of trousers. This is an original U.S. Army World War II belt. It's made of cotton. Now initially the buckle was made of brass and I'm guessing by I think 1940-41 they replaced the brass with steel. This style of belt is still available today, virtually unchanged. And if you're interested in getting a belt like this one, trust me, you can get it in colors outside of all the dread. So that's a quick overview of all your underclothing, as well as a example of the winter gloves that American infantry men would have worn. So let's get together and go to the next group of items.